Hey YouTube, not so slim Jim coming to you with another video because I wanted to talk about something today, something that affects me and many YouTubers, or as I like to refer them to as gun tubers out here, and uh, a lot of people who enjoy watching our style of media. See, as most people know, YouTube has been tightening the belt on people who like to put out YouTube media or content that revolves around firearms. And we all know that most of the, the big channels they can kind of get over this because they have a lot of sponsorships and they have a lot of people with Big Daddy and Limited and Audiobook and whomever that's paying the bills so they can keep making all the content that they're making and they can afford to do it and still make a pretty good budget. Well, little guys like uh, me and other people who have, you know, 25,000 or less subscribers, uh, if we want to continue making this media, we, um, we need the little $100, $200 a month we make to be able to keep doing stuff even right now as you can notice i have headphones on because i just dropped another couple hundred dollars on a, a new audio setup to try to get better audio for better viewing experiences uh including recently new cameras new tripods new lighting um i've been holding off on range videos recently we had a big spell of rain my private range dried up now i'm waiting for a bunch of ammo to come in I know I like to make excuses because I was in the army. Don't you know that's what we did the greatest? We made excuses for stuff. Um, but anyways, so we have a lot of problems with uh, YouTube trying to demonetize our videos. The weird part, though, is they don't really like telling us why they demonetize videos. Now, this first one I actually want to show you is uh, an interesting one. Uh, as you can tell here, they demonetize the video. But... The reasoning for it's kind of weird. So you can tell us, let's play a game. Is this a pistol and SBR? Now, if you haven't seen this video, you can go back and look at it. It's still up. It's just, I can't, you know, it won't be shown. It won't be advertised out there. And it was talking about the uh, the ATF and their new proposal for changing uh, AR, AK pistol, basically any pistol with a brace into an SBR. Because they wanted to say, oh, well, if you have an optic on it or if it's length or this weight or this, this and this that uh, it's going to be a gun because of these stupid little uh, so much stuff on my desk, stupid little sheets that they had a little checklist for. I still have them from that video. And uh, they decided, well, your video goes against our standards. But as you can see here, they said it was because of harmful or dangerous acts, focusing on accidents, pranks, or stunts that have health risks like drinking, eating, non-edible, or discussion of trending videos or shows type of content which has absolutely nothing to do with what the video was about or what i was doing so youtube and this is funny because this is actually one of the very few times they actually told me why my video goes against the standards and why they're demonetizing usually it's just we don't like it f you we're not going to let you get any of that sweet sweet youtube money which is usually a dollar a month for these videos a couple of my bigger earners i believe or not my biggest earner my cash cow one if you go back is how to set a septic timer that's my number one earning video on youtube something i made when i was a septic inspector for a while and that one makes me the most money at about 17 dollars per month so thank god i recorded that video but if you look at other videos one of them they decided to take down now, a lot of people, if you go and you look on YouTube, like I'll show right here, you put in how to assemble an AR lower. There are thousands of videos that talk about it, show it, and have little guides on how to do it. This is just the first page that comes up when you check on YouTube. So I decided to put my own little twist on YouTube saying, you know, how do I want to do it? So I showed a, a little budget you know, like if you want to build a, a an inexpensive, friendly one, here's how to do it: how to build a better budget AR. And uh, it didn't go against the community guidelines. The community guidelines said you can't show the uh, completion and assembly of a manufacturing of a firearm, which it was a lower that was purchased from a federal firearms dealer. It was pre-manufactured, so it didn't go against their guidelines. Well, they said, oh, it goes against guidelines. And it wasn't one of those like, hey, you know, your video goes against this, you need to take it down. It was, hey, this went against guidelines, 
So we're removing your video and we're giving you a warning, which is basically your first strike because it's a permanent warning, which means it's going against uh, anything. And if I get another one, that's an automatic cop or a strike on YouTube, which will remove me from a be able to do anything for a week and gives me a really bad reputation with YouTube. So, okay, whatever. And another one, if you look at even some of my non-gun related stuff, like one of my one of my bigger videos here, I have, you know, Austin Liberal Gets Owned, 100,000 views. And I've re-edited this video, I've changed tags, I've changed the description, I've changed the title, you know, I've done a whole bunch of other stuff. Now it's funny because you have these three videos that all take place at the same time, but they demonetized too. Now the one in the middle was originally monetized, but then a year, actually two years later, they decide, no, nah, we're going to demonetize that two years later. But the one in the bottom is still able to be seen, even though it's from the same event. So YouTube has no idea of what their standards are. They just kind of do whatever they want to do. So I've been trying to work with YouTube, figuring out, well, what exactly are your standards? Because I don't know what I can or can't do. So when I was speaking to him, trying to figure out, because I'm having all these videos that I'll put up and then it's, oh, it's automatically demonetized. And I'll say, hey, this is actually fine. Then a week later, they'll monetize it. I got one video that's been waiting to be reviewed for almost a year and still hasn't been reviewed. And I keep sending them, hey, you're going to review this video? No response. A month later, hey, you're going to review this video? No response, because they just really don't care. So I talked to one of the representatives and this is what they told me here. Talking or discussing about firearms as stated in our advertiser friendly guidelines, have your videos get limited or no ads or in some cases not eligible at all. So which one is it? Is it the community guidelines or is it your ad friendly thing? Because in your ad friendly one, it goes to your community guidelines. So now they're trying to tell me that it doesn't matter what the community guidelines say. If you speak about guns whatsoever, even just talking about them can have your video demonetized or your entire channel demonetized. And that's the issue we're coming with now. YouTube makes up their own standards. Whenever whoever looks at the video and if they don't like guns or they don't like your channel or they don't like what you said or they don't like you picking on someone that they might like, they just demonetize your video and there's absolutely nothing you can do about it. And now I have multiple videos that I'm trying to fight to get remonetized. And I was told the only thing I can do is have another person at YouTube put in, put in a request to get them looked at another time. And it can take up to six months or a year for someone to look at my videos. And this is the issue we have because they're making a billion dollars a year off content creators like me, possibly you and lots of others, but then they're turning around and putting advertisements on videos that they're still making money off, paying us less than pennies on a dollar and saying, oh, well, too bad. It doesn't meet our, our standards, but yet they're still putting advertisements on. Them. So that's the issue that I'm coming with. And I'm sure a lot of people else are having the same issue with. And as usual, if you guys got any questions, comments, and, or concerns, you can leave in the comment section. But I got to ask an additional favor for you. As you can tell, I'm having problems trying to get people to look at my videos, trying to get my channel to grow as best as I can. But I can't do that if the algorithm does not allow it. So if you can do me a favor and like this video, if you don't like the video, hit a thumbs down, leave a comment, call me a neckbeard, say my new audio is good, say my new audio sucks. Just say anything you want to. Call me a big fat bastard. I don't care. I got thick skin. But if you can do that, it would really help. All right. Y'all have a great day.